Yo, what is up guys and welcome to my full settings guide for season 20 and especially for 120 um, FPS mode on console now. Um, a lot has changed with 120 FPS. It feels kind of different to how um, console Apex used to feel. Yeah, so let's just get right into it. And afterwards, I'm gonna show you some clips that I hit um, on these uh, settings. And yeah, so starting off with gameplay settings. Um, these are pretty much uh, always personal preference, but you can just copy mine if you want. The most important things here are uh, interact prompt style should be compact, uh, button hints should be um, off, but you can have them on if you want to, it doesn't really matter. I like to have crosshair damage feedback on X if you're on console. You don't really need X with shield icon because you always see when you shoot an enemy like the, the, the color of their shield, you always see it. So I like to keep it on X. Um, damage numbers on stacking. This is literally what everybody uses. Um, ping op opacity is just better on faded so it doesn't like bother you. So it's just not like, it doesn't like, if you ping something like, it's not like that much visible like it doesn't bother you on your screen um obituaries um of obviously have those on this is your like kill feed on the top right um then the rest here weapon auto cycle i like to have this off because like you don't really want the game to do anything for you you uh, pretty much want to do like everything yourself so you have the most amount of control um, yeah, what else is important here? Auto sprint should be on on controller so you get m one more button free for your button layout. I'm gonna show you um, that um, in a bit. So incoming, incoming damage feedback, I like to keep this on 3D uh, because on 2D um, there's like <clears throat> some weird uh, lines on your screen when they uh, shoot you. See it? See like the line here on top, it like bothers me while I'm aiming, so I just um, like it more on 3D, so it's just like a pointer, like an arrow. Um, then, this is one of the most important settings in here, um, taking damage closest death box or crafting menu should be off, so you can shield swap and stuff like that. Off screen portraits, um, I actually normally have those um, off. Um, hop up, hop up uh, should be off, so it doesn't like cluster your screen. You don't want like, you just want to like have all of these settings that have like, that like pop up on your screen. You just want to have them off, so you have like the most visibility. Um, anonymous mode uh, doesn't matter, of course. Usage sharing, um, I disable this. Uh, for one reason only, I once heard like a few seasons ago that it can boost your game's performance. I'm not sure if that is true at all, I don't think so. But I just have it uh, disabled because I don't really need to share anything with EA. Um, yeah, so cross-platform play, of course, enable. Yeah, everything else in here is pretty much um, personal preference. You can copy my reticle though if you want to. It's 0, 208, 175. Um, my laser sight is on default because I never, like, when I hit fire, I never look at my laser sight. I always look at the uh, four lines, like at the reticle thing. Um, colorblind mode, I use Deuteranopia at the moment. Um, this doesn't really matter though. You can use Tritonopia, Deuteranopia, or off. I don't really uh, like Protonopia. Now, let's get into my controller settings. Um, so first of all, starting off with my button layout. This is like really advanced. Um, I, play, I played on this button layout for a few seasons now and I can say confidently that it is the best button layout that you can possibly play if you do not have paddles and if you don't play claw. I do not claw, I do not have paddles um, and this button layout is perfect. Like I crouch with my left bumper, jump with my right stick, so I never have to remove my finger to jump and crouch. 
And also, I don't really like having my crouch on right stick because when I crouch, it messes with my aim. So I like to have it on jump. Uh, interact pickup reload is on right trigger, so I can just um, loot really easily with my right trigger. <coughs> um, cycle weapon is one sacrifice that you have to do if you don't play claw and don't play paddles. But it doesn't really matter because there's like a quick time after you shoot and then switch weapons. You can't really like aim anyways because it's like in the switching animation. So it doesn't really matter. So I like to keep this on triangle. Uh, aiming on L2 and attack on right bumper. Uh, the reason for this weird layout, like the reason that aiming and shooting is not on the same button, uh, button is I have my um, <clears throat> pointer finger on the right side um, on the right bumper and my ring, f uh, my middle finger is not on the controller like it's it's at the back of the controller and on my left um, and on the left side I have two fingers on top um, so yeah I'm gonna show you um, re really quick after this button layout section how I hold my controller just so you know it but it's pretty much just one finger on the top right side and two fingers on the top left side. Uh, my tactical ability is le left stick, so I can um, like aim while I uh, put it down, so that's really good. Uh, my ping wheel is um, square, that doesn't really matter. Sometimes I claw over to use the ping wheel. And then uh, sprint toggle zoom is D-pad down. And the reason for that is when I have a sniper, and I'm aiming at somebody, I can switch the zoom with D-pad down while I'm aiming, so that's really good. And then melee is on X, that's also a sacrifice, you don't really need this to be on anything special. Um, and yeah, the rest is pretty much useless. Except toggle fire mode is on circle, it doesn't really matter, but if you have it on circle, you can really easily like inspect spam with L2 and circle. And yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, this is how I hold my controller, um, two fingers on the left side, one finger on the right side. This is uh, really comfortable. So um, crouch button should be hold, um, I highly recommend you doing this. Aim button also on hold of course. If you want to interact spam you have to have survival slot button off. Um, button dead zones I recommend none, so you have the fastest reaction time. By the way. Um, attack on right bumper is also really good because your reaction time like um, is faster because you don't have to press down a trigger and then now let's get into like the real um, interesting things so this is like the secret sauce right here um, so I want you to copy everything the exact same way so I'm not like just I'm not just playing regular 4 free linear um, I'm playing um, ALC bleed over uh, for free linear, so I turn um, my uh, per optics off and really important is do not have these on any random numbers and then turn them off. You have to uh, um, restore the defaults like this and then put this on free. So it's only this one on free. Um, this is like what feels best to me. Those have an effect um, too, so I highly recommend doing this. Um, and then go into your ALCs, turn it on, um, and copy exactly my ALCs. So um, you're not actually gonna play them, you're not gonna play on ALCs, but these are going to have an effect um, to how your 4 free linear feels like. And I highly recommend you trying this out, this is really good. Uh, shout out to my um, friend, he actually showed me this. Um, I used to play a different ALC bleed over and since I played on his uh, I just stayed on it, it's really good. Uh, I don't use ALC per optics. Oh by the way the guy is uh, Blooming Flower or um, Kiniru, his name is Kiniru now. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so that's pretty much my sense. Um, it's really consistent, the um, 30 response curve makes it like really controllable. And I like to have everything on zero and aim assist off because it feels like my aim is like way stickier like that. So I really like this. 
So now let's get into my video settings. So my brightness is on this. It doesn't really matter. It depends on your monitor. Um, my field of view is 110. I highly recommend using 110 if you're on console. Um, on PC, um, 106 and 108 are also really good. Uh, maybe even better. But um, on console, in my experience, 110 is the best FOV. Um, <clears throat> you can also try 108 though. Um, yeah. So of course, have a sprint view shake on minimal. FOV ability scaling, I recommend you disabling this. You don't need this. Graphics mode, I play on performance, so I have 120 FPS. And now my audio settings are pretty much also personal preference. I like to put dialogue volume to 20% so the dialogues don't like bother me while I'm playing. And this the rest just depends on your headset and how how you like it. So yeah that was pretty much um, all my settings that I use um, in season 20. And uh, yeah, as I said, this sense is like really busted. It's really good. Um, I love it. I highly recommend trying it out. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna show you some clips now that I hit with these settings. And yeah, see you next time.